All right, in uh, this video, we're going to be talking very briefly about setting coordinate systems and projections within a map document in ArcGIS Desktop. Um, some of the things we've already I've already done, and so I'm going to go through them. Main thing here is if we look at what I'm asking you to do, I'm going to drag this over. Remember that our goal was to set frame properties to NAT83 Harn, and that's contiguous, Albers equal area. And then we're going to set some scales to 35, uh, 1 to 3,500,000 to start with. We're going to work away from that in a little bit. And then we'll get in the next uh, one, we'll get into this last part, which is the, f the layouts. All right, so let's talk about this. Already we had two data frames, and one I called climate, and one I, I called forest data. Right now I've got all of my data symbolized, at least acceptably. Um, first thing I'm going to do here, though, is what I need to look at is the data frames properties. And so I'm going to right-click on it, go to properties, and then we're going to look at the coordinate system. And we know that we want an Albers equal area, and that's going to be at a projected coordinate system. So I'm going to click on that. Right now it's an Albers conical equal area. And so I'm going to click on this. And what I want to make sure is this would be within the North American data sets. Okay, so again, we're in, oops, I'm actually in the wrong one here. We're going to go to projected, excuse me, projected coordinate systems, continental, North America. Then we have to look for the Harn. I'm going to scroll on down, and you'll notice that we're going to see right here, NAD83 Harn, Albers equal area. Now, what I want you to do, though, is you'll notice that if I click on that and I apply it, what we get is pretty much what we've had. And I'm not particularly fond of Pennsylvania kind of being skewed like this. So we can modify that. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say copy and modify. What that allows me to do is when I open that up, I'm going to call this, I'm going to add to the end of this Ohio PA. And I'm going to tell you this right now, that right here is about 80 degrees west, or negative 80. And so what I can do is, now that I've changed its name, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say I want its central meridian to be negative 80. What that means is that this, the western margin of Pennsylvania, is now going to be the center of the map and the center of the meridian, which means that it's going to be straight up and down. And I could change any number of these things as well, but that's the main difference here. So I've changed this to be Ohio and Pennsylvania centric. I'm going to click Apply and OK. And you'll notice that I have Custom, and it says it right here. And so I'm going to click OK, Apply, and OK. And now you'll notice, nice and even right here, and again, actually, I'm technically, if you'll notice where I am, I'm a little bit off that. But it's pretty good for what I want to do. The next thing I want to do, though, so now I've got this. I'm actually going to bring my border up to the top so I can kind of see where I am. And I'm also not overly fond of this white, bright, bright white background. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click here. And I'm going to go to the Properties. And I'll no, you'll notice here under frame, I can change my background to be anything I want. Now, sometimes a light blue might be nice if you have ocean features, but it doesn't make much sense to surround two states that are internal to the continent with light blue. So I'm going to choose a gray. Gray kind of makes for a nice background. And now we've got this. It's a little bit better, a little bit easier on the eyes. The next thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to right-click on it. I'm also going to go into Properties because I don't really want to see this stuff outside of Pennsylvania and Ohio. So now what I can do is go into my data frame, and I'm going to do clipping. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to say clipping to a shape, 
and I'm going to specify the shape as Pennsylvania and Ohio. I'm going to click OK. All right. Now, I could add a border as well if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that right now. And I'm going to say, and I'm going to, by the way, I'm going to turn this off because I'm going to get to grids and graticules and click apply. Now you'll notice now I only have the data internal to that. Last piece I want to do is I'm going to go up here and set this to 3,500,000. And now I have 3,500,000 here. And what you'll notice if I activate this data frame is that I've already done this, but now I've set this to 2,500,000. I'm going to increase that. Again, I'm just going to go in here, change that to 3,500,000. And we should be, again, all set on this one. So there's our climate. Let's go to this one. There is Ohio. So now,